really normal transcript of the MSC system. And for the three days, we can't have a normal salary in the computer. Sir? To our commencement speaker, Minister Dixon P. Hermoso. Sir? To the members of the MSC Board of Regents, Chancellor Dr. Barry Hedger and Dr. Didi Alcumona, Vice Chancellors, Distinguished Guests of Honor, College Deans and Directors, Faculty Members and Staff, System Officials, Proud Parents, Family, Friends, and especially to the graduates of the Class of 2022, Ladies and Gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuhu and a pleasant afternoon to all of you. Manifest. I constantly hear this popular word from my friends and other people I interact with but never they see something they want to have in the future. But what does manifestation really mean? It is generally a practice of bringing something in the physical reality by using thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. Now I'd like to ask you, can you still recall the time you manifested something? What did you do to turn it into a reality? Today, allow me to share with you my story of how I brought my aspiration to fruition using a technique called manifestation. It was not so long ago when we first stepped foot in the atmosphere of the ground. During those times, I was so anxious and studies. But at the same time, thrilled about the things that awaited me. I remember while I was walking through the university, I saw a poster of those who graduated and graduate honors. And I was so inspired by them that I told myself, one day, I'll be one of them. Unconsciously, little did I know that I had already started to manifest. During my first two academic years in college, I dedicated a significant amount of time and effort to achieving my goals and making my manifestation a reality. I made many sacrifices, including my time with my family, my bond with my friends, and my commitment to some of my engagements. This may seem like too much for some, but to me, it is the very least I can do to improve my craft. Fortunately, everything worked out when my sacrifices yielded a desirable outcome. I got good grades and was included in the dean's list. I thought I was slowly making it to my goal. Then came the pandemic. The world has slowed down. Things started to become uncertain and stress has begun to run up. The pandemic has taken a toll on my mental health. I developed severe anxiety, which consequently caused me to lose focus in my studies. I spent lots of time finding my new home, and I had a lot of restructuring and relearning how to be a student during those times. Apparently, the letter has, has produced a counterproductive result in my academic performance. And that undesirable result somehow hit me. I realized I needed to get back on track. So I fixed myself up, recalibrated my thoughts, and redefined my objectives. I looked back to my very purpose of why I am here, and that is to finish my studies with pride and honor. Having that in mind, I persevered even harder. I juggled the tedious days and sleepless nights, swam through busy weeks and tight schedules, and put some of my plans on hold, all for my dream. Little did I know that I was already attracting what I had manifested, until finally, in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's grace and providence, that one great dream I once manifested has come to a reality. And I believe that just like me, this is also the day that you all have been manifesting. The maroon gown and cow, the processional march, the graduation music, the awards and recognition, and the confirmation that we are officially graduates of this university. 
So congratulations to everyone and we deserve a big, big round of applause. This only proves that we have the power to attract the things we aspire for. If we put a significant amount of perseverance, dedication, sacrifices, patience, and effort into everything we do. We have the power to manifest our greatness and power to turn our deepest dreams into reality. And when I said power, I meant to say purpose, opportunity, work, enthusiasm, and responsibility. I now challenge you, my fellow graduates, to manifest with faith and power. How? By focusing on your purpose, creating your own opportunities, working on your objectives, being enthusiastic in facing life's adversity, and accepting full responsibility for all of life's unexpected challenges. And if one day we achieve what we have manifested, let us not forget the people who helped us along the way. So at this point, I would like to extend my utmost gratitude to these significant individuals who, in one way or another, have extended their kindness, generosity, and support. To our school administrators, headed by our very dynamic chancellor, thank you for creating a safe and nurturing environment for your learners. Your strong commitment to the well-being of the campus community is invaluable and truly makes a difference. Look at MSU Maguindan now. It has improved a lot. And we owe it to your great community. Maraming salamat po. To our teachers, please know that your tough love has been very instrumental in our growth. Through it, we have become even stronger and more independent. Thank you for owning our knowledge, skills, and values. Wherever we are, we will manifest the wisdom that you have inculcated into our minds. To my former Supreme Student Council family, thank you for the boost and extra push. You have stood by me at times when I felt down and motivated, and I truly appreciate that. Please know that you are more than your doubts and disappointments. May nagawa kayo at may nagawa pa kayo. Keep driving, guys. To my classmates, resilient babies, you have fought fair enough to prove yourselves pretty. Knowing that you are here is already an achievement. You have worked really hard to make it to this day, so you should be proud of what you have accomplished. Keep persevering. I believe that in time, you will reach exactly where you are supposed to be. Trust the process, tell us. To my home friends, thank you for all the help and support you have given me throughout the, throughout the years. I can't imagine going this far without your love and encouragement. You guys are the best. I will forever hold each of you, the memories you share, and the things you have done for me close and dear to my heart. To more years of friendship, buddies. To my proud parents, thank you so much for all the hard works and sacrifices. I know how much you struggle just to provide my finances to school. You suffered a lot just to provide this precious gift, the gift of education. So from this day forward, I promise to reciprocate all your hardships and sacrifices. Alam ko hindi magiging madali, pero kakayari. Ma, pa, ako naman ngayon. Above all, I offer my grandest thanks to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala for giving me strength and courage to survive my college journey and I thank you for empowering me with dedication, focus, and patience to pursue my education and survive it with flying colors. Had it not been for him, I wouldn't be here right now. Now I would like to end my speech with a quote from Oprah Winfrey. And the quote goes, We don't become what we want. We become what we believe. 
So let the graduates go imagining the life you want to live in the future. Create your dreams. Feel it. Believe it. And live it. Manifestation with a combination of hard work, belief, dedication, may lead to success. So speak what you wish and you receive what you said. The more you work hard for your dreams, the quicker they will manifest in your life. Once again, congratulations to the class of 2022. Your perseverance and dedication, your education have now paid off. Congratulations. That was our class valedictorian, Mr. Mohamed A. Kasuyo. To end this program, let's see the university here to be led by the MSU Magidanao Choir.